Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Whiskey in the Jar by Metallica. So we are in a very low tuning here. The whole guitar is tuned down a whole step. Uh, so if you don't know what those notes are, I'll call them out for you starting from the sixth string. We have a D, then we have a G, a C, F, A, and another D. So if you didn't catch all that, just read the description. I'll have all the, the notes you need to tune to there. Um, so that really gives the guitar a very uh, kind of a low sound, a heavy sound to it, and really works well for this song. So we're going to start here with this main riff here that I just played and that melody line that's played on top of it by James Hetfield. Um, now that melody line actually has an octave pedal on it. That's why it might not sound as big. Um, unless you have that. I don't have an octave pedal hooked up here. So let's start here with this first one. Alright, so that's just a power chord off the, um, the third fret of the low E string. Alright, so we're going to start here. We're going to start with the power chord and then move the first finger down to the second fret while leaving that finger there on the fifth fret of the A string to the open E power chord. See, I kind of got it like an up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go back to the... So it's just that's basically the main riff of the song there. Just Alright, so the melody line that James Hetfield's playing over that sounds like this. All right, so I threw a little pinch harmonic in there, but that's not really on the recording. All right, so let's take a look here. We're gonna start here. Keep in mind this has the octave, a lower octave being is being doubled there, so it really sounds a lot bigger. So we have, but this is how he plays it live. We have the third fret there on the B string, and then you're gonna hammer on five to seven on the uh, B string. Then you're gonna grab the third fret on the high E, Obviously, it's not an E string right now. And then the fifth fret on the B. And then seven, three on the B. So we have this. Then you're going to pick the fifth fret and slide to the eight. So we have it all together. Pick that eight again when you're there, and then we're gonna do that melody again. But when you get to the eight, little bend and release there. And then back. So the third time through it is the same as the first, and then we have this. So that's just the open G, and then hammer zero two and grab the third fret on the B. And then back to the open G. And then that's a hammer zero, two, four. In the open G. All right, so this, this main riff here, this little ending that he did, this melody, he does it after each time, but he just ends it a little bit differently. So we'll talk about those as we get there. Uh, from here, though, we get to the actual, when the vocals come in, it's just the verse. And that is really similar rhythm wise that we we are already covering all right so it's just that power chord there on the third front of the low e low e power chord so open e then the third fret power chord off the uh, A string. And then you're gonna finish it back with the same uh, chord that you played first. 
So you stay there, stay there, just repeat it. Here we go back to that main riff of the song. Um, and that melody is pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is the end of that melody, and it kind of goes like this. So it was that third time through, he just... So you're gonna bend on the fifth fret on the high E, and then pick it, do that twice, and then do a hammer pull between three and five on the high E. So it's just this slight little differences that he usually does. And then... All right, so in the you're gonna go back into the same verse again, and then back in, in this, um, this you know we go into a different section finally where it kind of goes into the. Which takes us back into that part. All right, so what's going on there? We had the power chord here at the fifth fret on the uh, off the A string. So I was just taking it down to this C. Now on top of that, uh, Kirk Hammett does this over this C. All right, so to, just to kind of review there, when you get, when that third fret gets their power chord, the Hayfield's playing that. You have Kirk Hammett playing a basic C shape. So this basic C major chord, you're going to pick across the fifth, fourth, third, then second, and then back down to the third. And then zero two. And then you're going to place the third fret there on the high E, and then play the high E open. So we have this. Do that twice. And then go back down to that low E power chord. Uh, now we go back into that main riff again, and that's the last way he plays this kind of riff. You know, it's just very slight differences here, but at the very end, he just kind of messes with that third time through again. And then he might add some little bends there at the very end. So, you know, if you, it's, it's, probably one of the easier Metallica songs you're going to see. And they have lots of guitar layers and they're really just kind of mixing things up there. But knowing that main melody there and just knowing that the kind of little variations he's doing is those little bends or that little ending will really help you get through it on your own uh, without much issue. Now the very end of the song they just kind of are just crank on that. that uh, power chord there, the third fret on the low E string. And Kirk Hammett plays a little, uh, little melody. So that's just, might be James Atfield playing this, I don't know, but that's a hammering on 0-2 again on the open G over to the third fret on the B. Then the open G and then, and then hammering 0-2-4 on the G. So that's just over that, the, the, over that last chord. Now, I kind of skipped one section, the little clean section. That's the breakdown. It just uses a clean guitar tone. So I'm going to switch that toning. But it's a very easy part, just basic chords here uh, that are being played, and they're just easily strummed. Okay, it's going to sound like this.
All right, so then that takes us back to that, that little part that takes us back in. Uh, it's really, you can consider that the pre-chorus. So we're just playing a basic G major chord to an E minor, to a C major, and a G major. And just repeat those same four chords. You can add a little, little arpeggiation in there if you want to fill up the sound. All right, so in the next lesson, I'm gonna break down, there's a, there's a solo in there played by James Hetfield, which is just kind of doing more of the same of that little melody line, but it's just a full complete solo uh, that's being doubled with an octave pedal. And there's also a harmony guitar part that I'll take a look at as well. All right, I'll see you then.